Hey everybody, in this video we're just going to have a quick look at what the basic shapes of various polynomials are and we'll use Desmos just to uh, to look at the graph. Um, so let's go back to, let's start at the beginning here. Um, here is a basic uh, situation. We have y equals 5. It's just a number, okay? Um, this, this would be a graph. Could you imagine what that graph looks like before I even uh, show you with Desmos? Well, I'm going to click on Desmos and okay, whoops, there we go. I'm going to type y equals 5 here and you will see it is a straight line it has no slope, it's called a zero slope, it's flat, and it's cutting through right here. It cuts right through when y equals 5, okay? So that is a very basic graph. Um, later on, you learned in school, you learned another type of graph. Um, you basically added to this, so you went maybe, uh, let's say, instead of just y equals 2, we're going to go 2x and yeah, I could leave it there. So y equals 2x. Let's go look at Desmos and let's type in y equals 2x. Okay, so we'd get a graph that looks like this. Projector mode, you just get to see a nicer view. Okay, that graph is cutting through at the zero, that's our y-intercept, and it has a slope, as you might recall from the past, it has a slope of 2, which means you go 2 up and one across, and you go two up and one across, and you continue that to make this straight line. Now, um, things got a little more complicated after that, and uh, they would add things like, I don't know, plus three. And that whole graph would basically move up three spaces. So instead of cutting through at zero, it now cuts through up at the three. The y-intercept is now three, the slope is still 2, it's still going 2 up and 1 across, okay? Um, by the way, this graph or this line, um, I'm just going to see if you can remember, do you remember the word quadrants? I'm sure you do because this is a math course that uh, you've had to look at the word quadrant already and there's quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? This, this line here is starting, if you will, from left to right. It's starting in the lower left area, or the third quadrant, and it's going and ending up in the first quadrant. It's ending going in the upper right part of our graph, okay? So it starts in the lower left, and it makes its way up and finishes and continues on in the upper right quadrant, quadrant one, okay? Um, if you were to make this negative, suddenly that line is becomes like a mirror image. The line goes downwards, that's a negative slope. It starts in the second quadrant, or in the upper left, and it goes down to the fourth quadrant, or it keeps going towards the lower right. Okay? So all of that's pretty, I don't know, straightforward, I guess, as we think about it. Anyway, in school, uh, eventually, well, in, in Canada anyway, you hit uh, grade 10 and they start to teach you about parabolas. So instead of, instead of uh, this situation, they might say 2x, but then they might put a little 2 here, an exponent of 2, okay? And um, by the way, this is a, a degree of 2, if you will, okay? They, they use the word degree, so 2 is our degree here. 2x squared, let's have a look what that looks like. So quickly gonna 2x and I want it to be positive and happy. Here's the squared button right here using Desmos. This is a free online piece of software which is amazing and uh, there it is. We have our parabola and uh, notice something with a degree of 2 will generally start in the second quadrant, okay, it'll come down from the top left, then it will change direction and end up going to the top right or into the first quadrant, okay, it keeps going. So that's a characteristic of graphs, 
that are quadratic or they have a little squared right here. Okay? Of course, if you put a negative sign in front, that changes everything. It flips this thing upside down and uh, it'll start in the lower left, make its way up, and then end going down to the lower right. Okay. Let's move on to a little more complicated ones. Um, what color shall I choose? How about a yellow? There we are. What if we had y equals 2x to the power of 3, or 2x cubed? Okay, so let's have a look at what that would look like. Change that to a 3. If you're using Desmos, push this button that has the A and the little b, and hit a 3. And there we go. Interesting looking graph, isn't it? Um, this graph starts in the lower left corner, or in the third quadrant, makes its way through the origin, not that that matters, that word is just the zero zero part here, and it continues going to the upper right, or the first quadrant. So the degree of three here is an odd number, and you may, you may realize with a lot of, uh, I don't know, fooling around in Desmos, you might find that things that have an odd degree, like a one, or a three, or a five, for example, they will all start in the lower left and end up going through and uh, to the upper right, okay? Um, hey, I'll change this to a 1 right now and you'll still see that it's still going on. See? It's still happening. I'm going to go to a positive number, which is 2, and it, most of them, or all of them, <laughs> will start in the upper left, make their way uh, around in whatever way they might do and then end up to the upper right okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this you're probably wondering what about a 4 then because if it's even numbers if the degree is 2 4 6 they should continue to do that let's try a 4 right now 2x to the power of 4 it's a crazy looking thing there it's kind of a strange looking it's not a parabola anymore it's actually this is called a quartic graph it's got you know the, the exponent 4 changes that word to quartic, but anyway, it's doing the same characteristics as what the parabola did, okay? So if I did a 5 up there, can you guess what, can you guess where the parabola would end up, start and end up? See, it's continuing to do that same pattern that we've been talking about. A 6, and there it is. It's getting stranger and stranger looking, but it's still con continuing those same basic patterns, okay? So feel free to use Desmos as you go through uh, these types of graphs and uh, just remember the basic um, remember the basic uh, patterns that we were talking about just now okay so this is an odd degree one right here so do you remember what the graph looked like for that one 2x it went like this started in the bottom left ended up in the top right here's an even degree polynomial it started, it's a parabola, so it starts and goes like this. It starts in the upper left and ends up going to the upper right, okay? And the last one on this page, this was where it got interesting, is when we put the degree of 3, which is another odd degree, so just like this one, it starts in the lower left and ends up in the upper right, but the difference is it looks kind of like this. As we use Desmos, we saw that. Please feel free to use Desmos to fool around with these kinds of things. Make them a little more complicated and see if you can kind of guess what they look like. This will get you really familiar with um, the basic shapes of what polynomials look like. Okay, have a great day.